Hi y'all, welcome back to LNL Honeycomb Homestead. So today I wanted to show y'all what I've been doing. Um remember in the last few videos I was telling you that you can um do your food in jugs. You can do it all year long. Winter sewing. You can do it all year long till it's time. Well, update. All those tomatoes and everything that I had inside that shed out there behind me, the honeycomb. Okay, through all those cold spells and all that stuff like that. Excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. All of those tomatoes that was in there, half of those tomatoes have deceased. Yeah. Ooh, sad moment. Yes. But the other tomatoes, they're still thriving. They didn't get as big like you would want the starts to be because of the weather. They weren't getting that sun like they wanted to. They weren't getting that rain like you wanted to give them and stuff like that because we had some harsh, cold spells. So I was able to save those, okay? I was able to save those, and I was able to put a few of them in some grow bags, but I will be putting some in some beds, and we're going to see how that goes. If they do not make it, I'm going to hit the farmer's market, y'all, and get me some tomatoes because i got to have some tomatoes to make different recipes and can and everything else just in case these tomatoes don't make it. And I'm not going to no Lowe's. I'm not going to no Home Depot and buying one plant for $6. No, it ain't happening. But the next season, I'll have some more tomatoes and all that. And I won't have to worry about those. So we're going to see how those do. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn the camera around so that way you can see what I'm talking about when you went to sow. So what I did was I put some cucumbers, a little bit of everything that I was growing. Because remind you, you've seen stuff that was in cups. I was doing a test and error. I've always used jugs and I like it that way I love doing it that way with the jugs instead of with the cups because you got to babysit them you got to do the most with those but if you got them in jugs you don't have to worry about them as far as the nature why you know they they take care of because those are many green, greenhouses so I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I'm doing and what I got up my sleeve to show you and then there's some good news at the end of this video so stay tuned so as you know i've been winter sowing okay and i've got corn in here i've got squash in here i've got cucumbers in here i've got some tomatoes that thrived in here i got eggplant everything you could think of i got it in here because i was not going to grow them in cups i winter sowed them Okay, I got some good growth in them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through each one of these and I'm gonna start putting this stuff in the beds. The weather is beautiful, it's thriving out here. We're gonna have a lot of rain starting some more tomorrow and it's gonna be raining all week long. So while it is beautiful today, it's 80 degrees, the temperature gonna be up at night, the temperature is gonna be up during the day. It's spring, like I said before, it's fine. You can say it's spring. So I'm going to go through these jugs. It will be a long video, but I don't want it to be. So I'm going to show you one of the vegetables that I'm going to put out. So that way you can see that you can do the same thing. You don't have to worry about babysitting them. You just let the elements hit inside these little holes. You got your bath, you got your jugs taped up and it's doing its job. So I'm going to show you one of the um, veggies that I am going to take up out of here so you can see what I'm talking about when it comes to starts. It's worth doing this winter sowing, y'all. It's worth, it's worth it. So, man, it's loud. I need to put some more water in it. That's the fountain. So if you hear all that noise, it's solar and I don't have water in it, so you might hear it scream for a minute. But anyway, I put in here some butternut squash, okay? So I'm going to take this tape off so that way you can see what I'm talking about because I'm going to be planting this butternut squash with my cucumbers. They're great compatible companion plants and because of the nitrogen that it brings off in the beds and it will thrive. Squash, cucumbers, and tomatoes go well together. Just in case you didn't know about the companion planting, those three things you can grow together. 
They also grow good with peas, the beans, and so forth. Okay? If y'all don't know any of those things, check it out on Google, and they'll tell you a whole list of things that you, which you can grow together with your veggies. You don't want to take a chance and just say, well, I'm going to put these together and these together, because one might get the nutrients than the other. One might call more bugs than the other. One might do this and that, you know, that it'll tell you everything. So this right here, I'm getting ready to open this butternut squash. And I'm going to let you know and show you how you can do this a very fast, simple way by just letting Mother Nature do its thing. So you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I had some butternut squash, as you can see, right in here. Do you see it? I've got one, two, three squashes in here. Three of them. And I'm getting ready to plant them behind me in this uh, cattle behind, beside this cattle panel. So that way you can climb over my cattle panel. Okay? Um, the other one I have... I even planted some asparagus, okay, and I'm going to show you this one, Ooh. I'll show you this one, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and get a head start as far as putting these in, and uh, yeah, and then we'll be good. As you can see, here's my asparagus. Okay? So, if you are wanting to put something in, start saving y'all some jugs. It don't matter what kind. I like the milk jugs, the tea jugs that I use. I save those up, and I do my winter sowing. And it's fast, it's effective. You don't have to babysit. You don't have to do any of those. Okay? So, it's time now put everything in the ground and I'm very happy that I am okay now on to the surprise we all been knowing been sitting here keeping an eye on my peas I told you when it starts flowering we're gonna be getting a whole lot of peas and guess what y'all L came and got me and said I got a surprise and I said what is the surprise and Lord and behold it was peas and I was very very excited happy all the above of how I was feeling when it came down to these peas and I would harvest some and um, and they steady coming so I'm gonna show you what I harvest from these peas look y'all look I was able to harvest just these little peas and I'm so excited so excited I don't already rinse them off you already know so here is the test okay <laughs> of me trying to try these peas I'm so excited now this is the Lincoln Homesteader pea very happy about it and we're going to taste this together Mm. This is really sweet. Mm, so good. I'm happy. I harvest my first peas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was really good. Very, very good. Sweet. Very sweet. Hey. Like I said, the fruits of the labor. It's worth growing your own food, going out here and seeing what surprises that you have to harvest. So now I got peas, onions, and garlic. <laughs> peas, onions, and garlic. So I'm going to be doing a lot of harvesting of those peas because you got to keep picking them for them to produce more and more. And now I got some peas to put up in my freezer to make and stir fries and everything else. We got peas, y'all. I'm so happy. So happy. So, 
Thank you for coming to the LNL Honeycomb Homestead. Thank you for coming out here to the garden, looking at what I'm getting ready to put out and everything. And if you want you to have a garden, if you don't have a garden, or if you want a garden and don't have space, this is one way to have space. Do your winter sowing, get you a little tub, put you some soil in there, put you some drainage holes in there, put it on your balcony, fill that bad boy up with sticks and everything you can that you can find and put your little soil in there, put your seeds in there, and hey, y'all can grow too in a small space by just sitting here waiting on their stuff to get ready to be put out. Do it that way, and then put your stuff in your little tub on your balcony, and you can have your already garden. So thank you for coming, showing love to the channel, and hey, y'all have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.